six strummer in the comments said um, it would be interesting to get a, a take on my views of spirituality and I replied well that'd be a very short video because my views on spirituality are quite clear if there's no evidence for it I don't believe it don't believe in unicorns don't believe in gods ghosts goblins men who can split rocks anything like that I don't believe in astrology I don't believe in tarot cards I don't believe in palm readings right clear cut I don't believe in any of it why well there's no evidence for it there's a lot of hearsay and a lot of stories and someone who knows someone and you know take this take more death mythical guy who can split rocks guy died for 12 days uh, wakes up really good at mathematics and can split rocks or something and uh, all right what if that was true surely a million of his friends would have ran around there with video cameras and recorded it why didn't that happen oh that's right because it's a load of toffee gollop come on and anything like that right the world we the western world we live in today I think there's, there's, I can't remember the statistics now the number of CCTV cameras is in London is phenomenal so with all these cameras everywhere I mean I've got a camera on now there's cameras everywhere right everyone's got a camera there's cameras on every building every lobby and every elevator so with all these cameras why hasn't a ghost been caught on camera or why you know th these cameras everywhere so, so something weird and wonderful and wacky must have been picked up an alien a little green man no a little ghost a unicorn I don't know <laughs> a miracle someone splitting rocks no nothing else I wonder why that is well because <clears throat> and you know talking to Mordeth he's like well why don't you believe it just because it's, you know it doesn't make it impossible no well that's true but why don't I believe it? Well, no, let's turn that around. Why do you believe it? Don't ask me why I don't. It's quite simple why I don't. There's no evidence. So, why do you when there's no evidence? I mean, like I said, I don't want to get into religion, because I've already covered that in my other video of um, why do you worship a masturbating hippo? Oh, sorry, do you worship a masturbating hippo? Whoa, glass. Um, that put me off track. Uh, I'm also sorry, by the way, I always seem to do my videos on this one single goddamn road. Well, that's because I'm, I usually do my videos on my commute to work. Given the choice of riding besides commuting, I'd be off-roading at the moment. And uh, trying to do a vlog while you're off-roading is rather difficult. So, anyway... This gets me on and on and on. So, a long time ago, I was I was forced to go to church, and I suppose at the time, in fairness, yes, I, 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 I you could have called me a believer in God. Um, until I grew up and realised why, you know, why am I? What was this? What you know? You look into it, and let me make this just okay. Let, let's get the whole religion thing out of the way real quickly. There is no. And this is, my, I want to make this real clear in one quick sentence. There is no evidence for Jesus Christ. There's none. There's stories, yes, there are stories. They're, and they're not even first-hand accounts. They're just stories, okay? I've got that out of the way now. That's what irritates me. Um, now. So, spirituality. So this, uh, then talking to Mordeth recently, I got into this whole subject of uh, evil and the devils. And if, if evil exists, there must be good, right? Well, okay, maybe. So, and uh, he, 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 we got talking about Ouija boards and other things, and I'd like to make a statement right now. I, I, I've said I don't believe in any of this. That means I don't believe in the devil. That means I don't believe in witches. That means I don't believe in, I don't believe in evil. I'll do a Ouija board, I'll do, you know, someone, another religious friend of mine was talking to me and he said, oh yeah, don't say Hail Mary in the mirror three times at midnight. What? I got the camera out and did it because I was waiting for these horrible eyes to appear and cackle at me or whatever was supposed to happen. No, funny, I was ready with the camera and nothing happened. So, 
if you want me to invite the devil into my body in a circle of candles at midnight by a river naked standing on my head yeah tell me about it i'll do it i'll do it on camera i'm not scared it's not a case of fear anyway it's because guess what <laughs> there's no such thing oh gosh people irritate me And, you know, people say to me, why are you so anti-religious? Well, it infringes on me and my life. It does. These people get statuses that tax-free status and exempt this status and special, special, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They get special rights and special this and special that and, oh, they're religious. Oh, you can't say that is religious and, you know... You go to court and you swear on the Bible. What? You know, the leader of our country, or the ex-leader of our country, you know, Tony Blair, he was religious. Well, I have a problem with that. The guy running my country talks to this spaghetti monster, you know? What? Mr. Obama, religious guy. You, that, you know, you can't. You can't get... I said I wouldn't make this about religion, didn't I? Mm. But, quickly. Mr. Obama, you know, you can't get elected president of the one of the most powerful countries in the world without being religious without believing in without being christian what and that's what I'd, sums it all up for me you know why 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 do you have to believe in <sighs> so yeah um i am anti-religious i'm also pro sensibility you know Because religion hurts people, and there is no question about it. All wars are about religion. And like I said in my other video, you know, th this is the bit that really kicks it off for me. Someone's wrong. What is it, 11% of the world are Muslims, and 17% of the world are a form of Christian? Well, that means 10% of the world, at least, are wrong, are stupid, are idiots, are, are worshipping nothing. Because the two aren't, don't exclusively go, you know, they, one can't exist without the other. Oh, I don't know. So, yeah. I, I've done a rant again, haven't I? Sorry. But, yeah, you know, listen. Give me some evidence of something, anything, and, and you know, I'll think about it, but... What's going on here? So yeah, there's a challenge. Get your witch books out, get your witchcraft ready, get your, you know, get your tarot cards and get your, I don't know, anything like that. Astrology, what? And you know, you know here's, you know, religion, yeah, why, why do I'm against religion? Well, they, um, I'm looking for another word. They oppress religion, and this extends to Muslim and Christianity, oppresses women and gays and many other uh, minority groups. I have a problem with that, yeah. I do have a problem with that. No. Oh, yeah, I'm not, I said I wouldn't do religion, so I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Spirituality, where, are we, where can we go with spirituality? Well, I don't think there's anywhere left to go. Ouija board. Ouija board. There's a science behind the Ouija board. I mean, <laughs> Ouija board, right? Yeah. A way of communicating with ghosts and the devil and whatever it is, and it's fucking trademarked. Hello? It's trademarked. Trademarked. Penn and Teller did a really good... If if you want to look, if you believe in the Ouija board, you're stupid for one. Um, if I've offended you, to be honest, I don't really care because you are stupid. Um, no, I do care. I don't want to. I don't want to offend people, but <laughs> but take a look at it, please. 
Um, yeah, the Ouija board, there is, I can't remember it now, and I, I, I've not really got my head on too straight this morning, but there is a, a, a definite science behind it. Funny as well, the Ouija board, really curious, you can't do it blindfolded, why is that then? It's a bit odd, that. Funny how it magically doesn't work when you've got a blindfold on, hmm. But yeah, no, Penn and Teller did a really good, um, easy to digest study on it, if you like. Layman's terms, sort of uh, idiot proof. It's the bullshit series. In fact, the whole bullshit series is fantastic. It's on YouTube. 